Okay, um, I've got a, uh, a photograph of our Alan Bradley Micrologic 1100 PLC attached to the Lab Vault training base. The reason why I've got, I'm going to do this little video is I uh, recently had to reconnect one of these to the network and you can see the little blue cable going to the network and I just wanted to get it to communicate with one of the computers that I have on the same set net, same network. Uh, you can sort of just make out in the image that I've got the IP address displayed there. Uh, I think it's uh, 138 7108 and there's the MAC address uh, up there too. So, next image. I've gone off to a separate computer and instantly the computer and the uh, PLC are on the same subnet. The subnet is the third digit. So you've got 138, 77, 71. So the subnet is 71. So as far as I know, this um, communication between the PC and the PLC over the net works if you're on the same subnet. If you're on a different subnet, it doesn't work. So this PC's, I've just done IP config and I found that the PC's IP address is all that 85 and I've pinged the uh, PLC with its IP address which I got from here. Uh, incidentally, I had already previously enabled the DHCP setting on this PLC which you actually have to do initially via a crossover cable to a computer and you enable DHCP that way. So that's already been done. So you can see it's there's a connection there. So now this is just a little uh, screen capture of the programs that I've got installed on this computer. Uh, you can get all these. So if I just uh, do a quick search on my little Just a quick search of a little spreadsheet here. Okay. Let's see if this works. I do tend to uh, repeat information a lot in my um, videos. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's good to, to have a comprehensive video that it can almost stand on its own. So I'm just getting the website for that for those softwares. But in, anyway, you have to have RS Logics Micro English. That's the program that you need to actually program a PLC and, and um, monitor it while it's running. Uh, RS Logics Emulate 500 is good if you don't have a PLC handy and you just want to test your code. Uh, BP THPC server is required when you're either communicating via the crossover cable or you want to enable the DHCP setting on the PLC. And RS Lynx is just uh, there to allow you to install drivers required so that you can actually find your PLC. Incidentally, you can set up the drivers to connect to the virtual uh, PLC as well. So when that link comes up, I'll bring that across. But moving right along, first thing you want to do is go into RS Links Classic Light. Uh, Light means it's free. So go into Communications, Configure Drivers, and then you uh, just scroll through available driver types. Um, now down here somewhere there will be the virtual driver. Not this one. It'll be another one below that. But the one I'm looking for is the Ethernet IP driver. And you just click on that and you just give it a name. It doesn't have to be this name, it could be anything. I think AB is Alan Bradley Ethernet IP2. And you select how it's going to communicate over the network. So it's going to use this card with this IP address, which is the IP address of the computer. And go OK and there it is. So I've actually put two and that was a mistake that first one. That was the correct one and you can see below that there's the emulators. I think EMU 500 is the emulator you want when you're running the emulator software. 
Um, now you go to RS Logic's Microstarter Lite and you go to System Comms and you'll see all the links and you can see the ones where it couldn't find something that's that's the emulator uh, so I didn't have the emulator running here that's the one that I kind of made a mistake on but this one's correct and you can see there's the IP address like I showed you before Logic, so it's found that um, now you can click on that and on the right hand side just off the screen capture here oh, incidentally um, I'm going to drag across the tab showing you where you can get these files so this is the web address at the top I'll just read it out loud www.ab.com backslash linked backslash programmable control backslash plc backslash micrologics backslash downloads.html and the ones you want are emulate this one there um, and you want this one here uh, not, not that one sorry RS Lynx Lite software need to for online programming um, because it's got all the drivers and you want RS Logics MicroStarter Lite Alright, so you need those. One, two, three. Um, I'm just trying to think. I think the other program will come, that uh, Boot PTHP server may come with this one. I think it might come together. Uh, but I'm sure I'll get a comment if I'm wrong about that. So, back on here, um, so you can see there it is, and basically you just upload, well I always pick upload, because upload will give you the program that you're running on, um, you could just go online I suppose, but anyway if I go upload, um, yeah you create a new file, go online, and I went to press run, and it'll come up with a message, okay, if it's not in run mode, you've got to manually switch it across to uh, run mode. And I've been through this routine before. So you just select it. You may have to press escape to go up to the main menu. Then you scroll down to mode, and then you s go okay, and then you scroll down to run, uh, and vice versa program if you want to. Now there is an option here, remote, and I have never looked at that, but actually, you know what? I think that this might be a better option if I want to remotely switch between program and run. That obviously makes sense. So I might do that from now on. And go, okay. So this would depend. See, if I wanted to set up a PLC program for controlling a remote lab, then I would not activate this remote option. Um, but if it was for a student testing software, then I probably would select it to remote. Anyway, so that's run and you can see it's running. Um, and that's something else altogether. And incidentally, even though I haven't got it on my screen capture here, you can see a little bit of background. There's a relay ladder logic rung there. So it actually pulls up the ladder logic program in RS Logics. And that's it. Thank you.